Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday morning. Who all is here? My computer is making some noises. Um, Sherry, Megan, Ann, Penny, Shirley, Maria, Kat, Christy. Hi, everyone. Um, we do have Rachel here. You will not recognize her. She sounds sort of like a mute man. Yeah. Good Good morning, everyone. Yeah. And this is an improvement, I'm told. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, anyway, she's here with us. We also have Charlie here. You may hear him. We He's have free range today. Like so Free range baby. That's how we like it here. Yeah. Um, we also have Sam in the bathroom napping. So it's going to be a good morning. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Susan, Mary, Maria. We are making a really cute valentine home decor now this doesn't have to just be valentine you can take these steps that i'm going to show you and do it for anything it would be really cute like some fun bright colors with different i'll show you in just a moment with a kid's name and their nursery or bedroom or something like that um but i'm kind of going to do things backward because i've made a frame I'm going to frame this. I made this just with my Glowforge, but buy a frame from Hobby Lobby or from Walmart, wherever you like to buy your frames. Um, but I made this this morning, so I didn't want to go buy a frame. So I'm going to glue it together really quickly first, and then we'll go over into design space. Uh, we're not using a cut file today. We are just using a font of your choice. Uh, you're going to want a thick, bold font, and I'll show you why in a moment. But... Um, if you want to go overhead, I've just made this frame like this. Um, this is the front of the frame. I love that wood. Right? Beautiful. And then I just use MDF for the other parts. So we have MDF here. I've got two layers of MDF. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's like an end layer right here. So what is going to end up happening is we're going to have layers of cardstock and veneer that are going to set down in there. And then we'll put this back on it, and it will be a lovely piece of decor like this. So what I want to do first is just glue these pieces together and then I can glue this on at the end. Um, I did choose MDF for the innards and the backing because it doesn't matter. Um, innards. The innards. Oh. Yeah, I don't know that that's an actual term, <laughs> but it is today. Um, also, this glue is not going to come out, so I'm going to open it and grab a... One of our handy dandy brushes. Yes, one of those. Let's see here. I'll just use an adhesive brush. Um, but MDF is a lot less expensive than this proof grade walnut. Um, so I don't want to waste it on things that don't really matter. It's going to be the insides. doesn't really matter. Glue this here. I love the hack on only using your best wood for what people will see. It's yeah, going to save a lot of money. Like, yeah, it's not like it's it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to affect the integrity of the project or the looks at all. So save that guy. The other cool thing about this is, uh, yes, this is a larger piece, but I've cut out this right here, right? So you can save that piece and cut out something small later. So it really didn't take a ton of um, materials. I just needed a larger piece in order to grab that. So, okay, let's glue this together here. I'll go grab some clamps and a few. This evened up here. I just made this really quickly in Illustrator, um, measured how big I wanted my finished design to be which was somewhat influenced by the fact that I am going to be using Cricut wood veneer today. And the largest that you can do with that is 11.5 inches. So um, I had to keep that in mind. Did we end up having that here? Did you have we to? We did get have it here, Rachel. Oh, we did, yeah. You have a good memory. Um, I love Cricut veneer. You all know that I don't always love a lot of Cricut products, not because they're not good products, just because there are other products that I like better and maybe they're less expensive or more readily available, easier to obtain, you know, oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, but Cricut veneer, I do really love. Now it is pricey. It's pricey, but it cuts really, really well on the Explore or Maker series machines. You just use, you know, I actually don't know. Is it deep point or fine point that you use? I'm pretty sure it's fine point. I'm pretty sure it is too. Um, 
So we'll dive into that in a minute, figure that out. Okay, so I'll put this to the side for now. Susan loves your lavender nails, Becca. I Thank do too. You, That's a really Susan. pretty color on Becca. It's I, I really like it. It's a little bit darker in person, um, but I think I'm gonna I might do it this color again. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we'll even this up, and then I'm gonna grab some clamps. You don't necessarily have to clamp it, uh, but I don't want it moving around on me. that you can also use 3m um, adhesive the glowforge world really loves that stuff i have not gotten any yet but i've not heard of anyone who hated it so i, I need to grab some and try it out for you all clamp that here then i'll clamp this corner and the other ones too It's looking good. Had to make sure that I didn't move it at all. So guys, the weather today, the high, don't get jealous, the high today is 65. And when I came in this morning at 8 a.m., it was already 51. Absolutely beautiful. I was going to go to the park and do a fun little walk with Sam before um, they ended up needing to do some projects. So we'll go to the park later, but I'm really excited. We have this amazing park called Jolly Park here in Morristown <clears throat> that a family donated. It was like, how many millions? It's like oh, nine million yeah. or something. I was going to say like eight or nine, yeah. Nine million dollars. And Morristown is small, but nine million dollars. And the, the purpose of it was to create a playground that was inclusive. So this playground is really, really cool. They partnered with um, some people who are experts in children with needs. Um, and so this playground helps facilitate facilitate play for children who are in wheelchairs um, and I mean like, like there's, there's really wide places for the wheelchairs to go up there's like a um, slide for it that kind of works that way um, there's a zip line that they can use it, it's a huge playground I'll take pictures for you all absolutely amazing anyway we love it it opened up this last spring so it's beautiful it's, it's big and nice and clean yeah. and it's great let, I love these clamps too. They're like very easy to use and I love that I can set it up like that. Okay, so while this is drying, we can go over, ugh, my fingers are disgusting. Let me clean them really quickly because I don't want to touch my computer. I can talk about the other supplies we're going to be using. I am just going to be using the Cricut veneer. I have the maple. I thought um, that the maple would be a really nice contrast against the walnut frame, which would, oh, I mean, yeah. you can do the same if you want to. Um, I could have done a frame out of acrylic too. That would have been fun. And then I'm just going to do several different colors of card stock. This is going to be Valentine themed, so I just have a bunch of pinks and reds. Um, but you can do this for whatever. You do want different colors because we're going to have some dimension in this project. And um, you you want to have that. So um, back to the frame. Oh, there's DeWalt clamps. I'm trying to find them in the link. Uh, um, the colors, I think they're DeWalt. They are DeWalt. Okay. I'm trying to remember where I got these. I don't know if we ordered them or if we got them from Lowe's. Are they four... Four and a half. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Yeah, ten dollars for two. That's not bad. No, it's not. Okay, I'll link mm -hmm. it for you guys. And they go. I mean, you can. They get pretty big. We haven't needed any other ones for our crafting projects. Now, if you were building furniture or something like that, you would definitely need something a little bigger. Um. Anyway, so, you know that inlay that was in my frame. Uh, the base of the design that I'm doing in Design Space needs to be that exact same size. So I already have that in design space. It's an obscure, an obscure size. Make yours whatever size you need. But mine is 8.849 um, by 6.03. Very obscure, right? So I have um, just placed that in here with a basic shape. And I went ahead and grabbed a text box. And I'm using the font called Coco Goose. I, I can't remember if I got it from like font bundles or something like that. But you can probably just search online if you like it. There are tons of fonts like this that are just good thick fonts. Um, and I just put XO in here. Like I mentioned earlier, you could do one initial if you wanted to. Or you could do like separate panels and do like XOXO or L-O-V-E or the kid's name or something like that. But I'm just doing one with two letters and it will be really cute. 
Um, so I have this centered. I placed the text box and centered it vertically and horizontally. Well, no, that's vertically and horizontally, but I don't, to me, that doesn't look right. Does that look right to you, Rach? It looks like. Is the O a little smaller? Maybe. That's what the, I think that's what's. I don't, I don't know. know. That's interesting, but this just goes to show don't always trust the alignment tools. And I've talked about this before. Yeah. Don't always trust the alignment tools here in design space. Um, I think I, a lot of times, is, is yeah. a lot better. Your I, yo, for sure. That's a good tip. Okay, so what I want to do is just select both of these layers, and I want to subtract the XO from the rectangle. So I'm just going to subtract, just like that. Move it in. Now what I want to do is duplicate this. So I'm gonna press Command D on my computer. I can also like click this, duplicate. However you create the exact same layer, just do that. Now I'm going to unsubtract, undo the subtract because I want to create an inset so I have that unsubtracted, but I'm not gonna move it. I'm just gonna leave it in the, in the exact same spot. And I, with the XO selected, I'm gonna come up here to offset and create an inset. Now you can zoom in so you can see how much space you're actually um, insetting or going in. Um, let's look right here. I might, uh, oh, that might look good. Uh, so we'll press apply. And then what I want to do is delete the original XO. So this group right here, I'm gonna delete that. And with just this new inset, I'll select both of those layers and press subtract, just like that. Now I'm gonna send this to the back, send to back, and I'm going to duplicate it again. Now let's go ahead and change the colors of these so that we're not confused. This one is gonna be my veneer color, so I'll make it brown. This one is probably gonna be a pink or a red. It's not, doesn't really matter. And then it will layer behind like this. Now with this one, I'm going to unsubtract. Undo the subtract. I'll select that XO and I'm going to do the same sized offset. So it defaults, it brings it up already with the, the offset that we've done before. So I'll just press apply. Again, I'm gonna delete the original XO, select both, press subtract. Duplicate this one and bring it over to the side and then I can change the color of this. Well, let's see here. That's good. Send to back and bring it over here. I'm sitting here wondering if I shouldn't have done a slightly larger inset let's see eh, that might be all right we'll go with i think the subtlety is key yeah so same thing over and over until we get this finished so i'm just going to go through it if you have any questions let me know but i'm going to kind of speed through it here um, we're going to unsubtract it hold on to that xo inset apply delete the original one and subtract again change the color Duplicate it, if it will let me select it. There we go. Duplicate, send to back, and subtract. Same thing over and over. Are there any questions about this, Rachel? No, ma'am. Okay, fantastic. Subtract. Change, duplicate, send to back. And you don't have to send it back. I just like to see what it looks like. So um, that's what I'm doing. Undo here. Don't you all love the offset feature here in Design Space? I, it's one of my favorite things, honestly. honestly. If you have been cricketing for a long time, you knew the pain of not having an offset before, and I'm telling you, it's probably... Or you just don't know the beauty of it. A lot of true. people just didn't know what they true. were missing entirely. You're, that's right, Rachel. It's an incredible 
Oh my gosh. We what did what program did we use to use to create offsets? I would think you do them all in lock. Well, I didn't know Illustrator back then. I can't remember what I did. I know that I would make you do them all. They used to what they used to tell you to do if you were having like a heart or something like that was to duplicate this like a ton of times. Yes. And then you would just kind of place it around. Yeah. And then you would end up yeah. welding it. To, oh it was a Lord. nightmare. It never looked that great. But you know, you do what you you do what you got to do. Necessity is the mother of invention, right? Send to back. Okay, let's see where we are with this. We're gonna align all of these. Did I not change that one? I may not have changed. I may have gotten happy here. Yeah, I did. Why did I not see that one then? Interesting. A line. Huh. Okay. We'll keep going. Undo. There we go. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. Oh, forgot to send it back. Send it to back. Is Shauna here? She is. Shauna, are you feeling better? I think she is. Hang on, hang on. Yes, she is. Good. Oh, sorry. Guys. You leave him alone. You leave him alone. Oh my lord. Well, maybe not that, Charlie. <laughs> okay, I think this is probably going to be the last one that we do. Let's change the color. Send to back. And then I'm going to duplicate another one that will just be solid. So we'll undo this and then just delete the XO. So we just need a solid one. Send to back. Change the color of it. Let me see if I have... Is that what a dinosaur says, Charlie? Sure sounds like it. Sound like it to me. Okay. Center. That looks pretty good. I swear there's one in there, though, that we're not going to need. So I have... How many layers do I have here? I'm going to click make it to find out. It'll be easier. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we got a lot of cutting to do. Buckle up. This is a good, a good chat time, right? We're going to go through them. Um, the only thing that I need to pay attention to is this right here is our veneer. So let's go ahead and cut it out first. We'll press continue. And then connect to our Explore Series machine. And... I'm going to search for veneer, natural wood veneer. We'll press done here. And it's the deep point blade. Okay, so we have our deep point blade. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in in just a second. Um, let's open up this guy right here and grab our veneer. So the Cricut veneer comes with two sheets, 12 by 12 sheets, and you're going to want to use a strong grip mat. So let's place it and bray it. And then because I'm crazy, well, I'm not crazy. This is expensive. Yeah. I also want to just tape around to make sure that it doesn't move on me. Now, did you mention like you can stain this, you can paint uh, uh -uh. this? I didn't. It's, I didn't. It's a really great super thin product that the Cricut can cut super easily. There we go. Okay. So now, poor guy, he fell love his heart. He had a little accident. That's okay. I'm gonna grab the 
keyboard here so that I can move it for you. Okay, so we have it taped down with our masking tape. I have the correct setting in Design Space and I'm just going to grab my deep point blade here and put it where my fine point blade goes. We'll cut this one out and then we're going to cut out um, all of the other pieces here. Let me make sure, I think I need, I think I only have eight card stocks and I think I need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let me grab another one. I stole this from you, Rach. <gasps> yes, yes, I, Rude. I stole it. Rude. <laughs> So this veneer, you all are going to be shocked. If you've never used it before, it cuts so, it actually doesn't look like it's cutting. It's kind of like the faux leather. If you've ever cut with it, it looks like it has failed and not done well, um, but it does, does really well. That's a good example. Cause yeah, you do. You're like, well, that did not cut through. Yeah. And it cuts like butter every time. Let's see, maybe I should have found like some purple or white or something in there. White would have looked cool. Let's do purple. Do you all do purple for Valentine's Day? I think you do if you need nine colors of cardstock. I was about to say, what other, you know, you don't have many other choices. There's like a unicorn or something. Is it called unicorn? Yeah, there is a unicorn that has some pretty colors. I like this light purple one. We'll use it. And then just like your, oh, it matches right your nails. It does. Beautiful. God, my cuticles are bad. That's rough. Oh, this is gonna look so cute. I'm so excited. So it does a couple of passes. No big deal, right? We'll unload this. Flip our mat over. Normally it cuts better than this. That's interesting. I should, okay, rookie mistake. Um, do not unload your mat until you check your mat to see if it has cut all the way through. So I'm just gonna grab my true control knife and just go through these cuts because they are um, straight cuts, it's not a big deal. To do I that. just said it cuts like butter, Becca. I know. I'm eating crow right I know. now. We've never changed out our deep point blade, though, so I do wonder if we need a new one. I don't know. Quite possibly. Let me move all of this stuff, and then I'm going to remove this, save that, don't get rid of it, and place this back down on this map so that I can cut here. This happens. Fun times. Alyssa said, we can't see your cuticles unless Rachel zooms in. Yeah, good oh, thing for God. you during a live, I can't zoom in. Otherwise, I would, you know, so you could really see our cuticles, but I can't. I even put lotion on this morning, so. Do you ever use, like, a cuticle cream or cuticle oil? Yeah. But I'm just, see, it's just the same as lotion. If you don't continuously have it on, you once know, it's right dry. when you wash your hands, you just, it's just gone. Well, and that's the thing. I've been, I have wiped a thousand snotty noses in the last week, so I'm washing my hands a ton. Oh, yeah. Come on. Do you all have any, like, Valentine's traditions? Like, does your spouse get you the same gift every year? Do you guys do the same thing every year? <laughs> We talked a little bit about it last night. A lot of them don't do Valentine's stuff and because I don't either. We also talked about um, cold ketchup versus warm ketchup. You know, that debate. <laughs> I, it, I did not know this was a debate. Yeah, I feel like it was a healthy mix of opinions about it. Now warm, by warm do you mean like? Room temp. Okay, yeah. yeah. You mean like leaving your ketchup? Leaving it in the cupboard. Okay, I see. Yeah. I think this is mostly, Charlie, you're gonna bite it. You're gonna bite it. Some mentioned that, I think it was Megan actually, that she liked the ketchup from like a McDonald's bag or something like that better because the, the food had warmed it up and it never really occurred to her that that's why she liked the ketchup, oh. is that it wasn't cold. 
I think the majority of it has to do with the way you were raised. I was know? raised with cold ketchup. Oh, were you, Becca? So you broke the generational mold. I did. I did. We have, I, I mentioned last night, we, and we'll, we'll talk about this at the Flock Talk as well for this Saturday, because um, this is one of my topics to talk about. Uh, we have two ketchup bottles in our home. One is in the refrigerator for the idiots in my family, and one is in the, <laughs> the cupboard. For the idiots in my family. I just think it's nice you even have, that, you even consider them at all. Well, you, you know. don't make them just... If, if my husband didn't do most of the grocery shopping, we oh. probably would, would not have the other one. <laughs> okay, um, you want to keep the inside of... No, you don't. You don't need the inside of that O. Just kidding. Toss it. You don't need it. <laughs> I should have been cutting the other cardstick mats while um, I was cutting that out, but you're just gonna have to bear with me here. So, let me go through here. I, I do, I should have paid more attention. I could cancel out and go in and like change the colors because I need to make sure that each mat is not like two pinks that are similar or oh, not yeah, next yeah, to each yeah, other yeah, and yeah. all that fun stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of pay attention here and try to figure it out. Okay, so we'll do this one first. I'm gonna do this pretty pink color. Place it down. Um, you could use eight and a half by 11, well, depending on what size you're doing, eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock too for this. I'm just gonna use the medium cardstock and then I'm gonna go ahead and press remember this material setting so that I don't have to press it a million times. That's a relatively new update that I like. Same, if I remember it. Um, change your blade back out to fine point because we had the deep. And then we'll get this cut. Again, it is several mats, so let's we can chat. Yeah. For those of you who have missed the chat time, now is a great time to do that. What do you all want to talk about? Yeah, let us know if you have any questions about anything. The membership's got a great sale going on for Valentine's Day. You can use the code Be Mine for $35 off your first year with us. Ask us any questions at all. We have cut files, commercial use licensing, free courses in there, a member-only Facebook group. It's the place to be if you like to craft. Oh, that's so sweet. Stacy. Oh, look, my mat is... <laughs> Now, correct me, Becca, isn't that a different brand, Strong Grip Mat? It is, but it is Strong Grip, so, and I braid it down. That looks really nice. We are crafting live, ladies and gentlemen. We are crafting live. Let me find another fun pink piece of cardstock. Oh, I think that's the exact same one. Sean is oh. going to lunch with Stacy and Beth today. Rachel, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm jealous every time you do it. She said, how would you like us to include you this time, Becca? How would you like, oh, how could I include it? Rachel. Yeah. Should oh, I make I this the that. back, the back piece? That's really pretty. I don't even know what this is. Where did we get this? Where did we get this? I don't think I'd, I, to be honest, that that's all you. There's no way I would have bought that. It's really cool though. We're using that for the pack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand why this moved. So that's interesting. I'm going to. Did we change the blade out? Yes, Miss Marie. Yeah. Good question. Let me just tape it down a little bit, even though I'm really shocked that it needs it. I never have to do this here. I always have to do this at home though, always, because I'm too cheap to buy new mats. Here I'm like, oh, I'll get a new mat Why every other. Why don't you take one from the office that you own? You know, I just haven't really thought of it, I guess. I... 
It's not really stealing if it's yours. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel bad because, like, I, I, have, I've, I have a fully stocked craft room at home. And so anytime, like, I do a lot of prep at home or I will test things out at home, especially cut files when I'm making them. So I'll buy things at Hobby Lobby to test things out. And I feel really bad about it. <laughs> But I'm like, you've got to stop. We're doing it here. It's very interesting. Yeah, the holographic paper. Yeah, I think it's a good choice. I think so too. Where's all that fun new vinyl we got? I wonder if there's any holographic. I mean, it doesn't matter. What is he doing? Trying to kill himself like all little boys do. I swear, they have no sense of self-preservation at all. Look how happy he is, though. <laughs> He's living, no, he keeps, living his best He keeps life. spitting out the same goldfish and then picking it up and putting it back in his mouth. Which is fine because the other day I bring Sam in and put Sam in. Uh, it, <laughs> Sam in Charlie's pack and play. And uh, I look over and... Sam's just eating some Cheerios that Charlie had had like <laughs> a week ago. And I was like... Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah. Much better. Okay. I guess you could save, like, the insides and do a reverse of this if you wanted to for all of you who like to save all this. I, I, it's always hysterical when we do videos because everyone's like, you could keep that and do blah, 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 or you could throw it away. We're honest. <laughs> Um, next mat. I don't know which one's which. We'll go with, we'll go with this one. It's like a safe bet. I'm just going to use that, those same pieces of masking tape for all of these. I don't, it really ticks me off that I'm going to have to tape this down though. I mean, do you want me to see if there's another strong grip over here? Rachel, if you if you felt this, like the way that I'm having to pull it off, it is so it's so adhered to it. I'm not. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna see what happens. It's like so adhered. And it's recently cleaned. This is one of the ones that we cleaned on that live that my forum, like, I think, I think they still burn a little bit from it, from the, <laughs> that live. This is gonna look so cute. Oh no. You'll want your ATG gun for this too. Oh yeah, that'll really expedite this process. Oh, this is cute. You could have done this layer as holographic too, but I just like, I, I feel like it's more of a mid-century look with the wood on top and then the pops of colors, so that's fun. Okay, see, look, I mean, it's stuck. I don't know why that one did that. I bet if I look back, then I didn't bray it good. Okay. Um, I think this is the next one. And we will do a nice red color. Have they come up with anything fun to talk about? Let me double check, but I think they're boring today. I'm kidding. You know I love you all. Kat, did you go to Crumble Cookie last night? Or was Scott joking? I've always wanted a crumble cookie. Rachel, you know that I told you that I'd heard mixed reviews and I wasn't really excited because some people are like, it's overrated. Well, here's right. the thing. They lied. They have lied. And we're foodies, so we know. They have. Now, I had an Oreo cookie with frosting on it. Oh, yeah. A couple weeks ago. It was heaven. I mean heaven. This last week, I went and got a key lime pie, which was good, but the churro one, what, it's, it was like... It was like Cinnamon Toast Crunch with like cinnamon icing on. Mm. I love anything cinnamon sugar. It was so good. I, I am a fan. And I got a honey bun one a couple weeks ago that was really good. 
Where are y'all getting these at? Well, there's two crumble cookies in Knoxville. There's one at Turkey Creek directly across from Target. I didn't know like, this. Like, you know where Baskin is that Robbins new? is? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you can, you won't do it, but you can get the app and order. <laughs> I get so mad at Rachel. Quit acting like you know me. You don't know me. I get so mad at Rachel. She goes, like, for instance, to Dunkin' Donuts almost every single day. And if she got the app, then she could get rewards. She could order ahead of time, which I'm sure she won't do because she doesn't love talking to people. So I would think that eliminating one step of talking to people would be very appealing to her. What do I hate more than talking to people? Change. That's true. I, well, I, I didn't actually know that you hated it more. Maybe not. It's, it's probably dead even. It, I'm just too lazy, so I might as well just not. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, free food, though. You're like, I'm just trying to, to save people? you money, free Rachel. Free food and not talking to people. That can't. That can't entice you to do it. What, well, Rachel? What if she did download the Dutch Bros app, but she I still did. hasn't been? Never. What if I gifted you a free drink in the Dutch Bros app? Would you do it? If the, I. Not even about the money. I, w I wish I could say yeah, for 100 percent. Yeah, but no, it would be wasting my drink if you didn't. Oh, this is a form of it's not an ultimatum kind. Yeah, yeah, absolutely that. That's for sure. I see how you how you work. I mean, here. I'm not gonna do it necessarily. Chick-fil-A. Do you go to Chick-fil-A a lot anymore? Um, I don't feel I like you go as much lot. as you did. Anyway, you can get freebies there. There's masking tape all over. I, I feel like I haven't washed my hair in forever, but it's been... I washed it day before yesterday. We have a new... Crumb Maria, don't do it. You'll oh, He'll be ruined for life. Do it. I don't know if you get rewards with crumble cookie, though, but you can order ahead of time. It's appealing to me. They also have these kiosks at ours where you can go and order, or you can actually talk to a human and order, too. Um, whatever you want, you know. But ours at Turkey Creek is right next to a Baskin-Robbins, and so they have, like, Baskin-Robbins will post these signs, and they're like, Wash down your crumble cookie with a Baskin Robbins milkshake. And I'm like, holy calories. What? <laughs> they, they got to shoot their shot, though, you know? But, I mean, you got to give it to them, I guess. <laughs> I think this purple's really pretty. Rach, what was your favorite color when you were a kid? Pink, hot pink. Hot like pink. Fuchsia. Yeah. When, uh, when mom let me redo my room at the ripe age of probably 11... I picked for my dad to do like the crown molding, but on the center of the wall and had the top of my room. Chair, chair railing? You had chair railing in your bedroom? No, like crown mold, you know, like crown molding on the top, but like through the middle of the room. That's called chair railing. I don't, okay. Anyway. Then chair, <laughs> chair railing. I didn't know it had a name. Thank you, Becca. Always learning. Uh, and the top part of my room was, I, I mean, hot, hot, like blinding hot pink. And the bottom was... The most horrid color of lime green, and that was just the way I did it. That I was happy as a lark. Was it that way until like you moved out? No, it was that way until I was about, I was probably 15 or 16. I had it for like five years, and I was like, Mom, I really just want to paint the whole room blue. Just go, let's go to Lowe's and see if there's like, like a, a five gallon bucket on sale or something, and just go hang. So I had a Blue, black, and white room there for a while. Oh, oh. Did it have, like, the... Uh, that was where my humongous poster of Marilyn Monroe was. Yeah. That you got from Ross? Yeah? I think Charlie doesn't love the idea of your pink and green room. Or maybe he's mad because you he won't let him pink it. and green. He would have loved it. Um... We're almost finished. We got a couple more. My room growing up, actually every single room in our entire house was country cream. Country I'm cream. Jan. Country cream. Now her kitchen, actually, that's not true. Because we had wallpaper in our, bat, in our kitchen. Boy, did we ever. We had, it was a country 
Apple. Mom, what was the name of the, the wallpaper? It was apples until I was in high school. Um, and we had a bathroom that had wallpaper. And actually, we had a lot of wallpaper. We did. And she changed it, you know, as things changed. Um, is there any... Oh, your wall behind your bed is still wallpaper. An updated wallpaper. Is there other wallpaper in your house? Wallpaper's becoming a thing again, though. Who knew? Mostly it's removable stuff, though. Yeah, that's what Anna did in the baby's room. Well, that was a nightmare. She gets up there, she's going to do it, and then she has, like, a panic attack and freaks out. She's like, Becca, you have to do this. I can't. And I'm like. Was it, like, the pattern that needs up or something that was killing her? It killed it too, obviously. Yeah, and what happened is it would meet up fine and go fine, but... If you, if you had to, like, take it up and place it back down, it stretched it out some. Yeah. So toward the bottom, it didn't meet up well. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I pretty much swore off wallpaper that day, which is really sad because I found this wallpaper that I love for Fallon's room. Here's the problem. It's from, um, I think it's from the U.K. I'd have to order it from them. And it's, her room is, my kids' rooms are huge. I don't know, like, they could each be two rooms. I don't know why they did it the way they did it. My kids aren't complaining. But to do one wall in Fallon's room, I was going to do the wall behind her bed, would be $900 in wallpaper. And I was like, sorry, sorry kid. It's not happening. It's so pretty, though. It's like this kind of watercolor, freehand, really pretty rainbows. Oh my gosh. And it has like, it's, the background of it is white. I, f I fed my mat in crooked, so I'm going to have to unload it. The background of it is white. Um, and it has like irregular kind of free-formed black polka dots mixed in with the rainbows. It's so pretty. Love it. Uh, Stacy said my daughter just bought a house with wallpaper in the kitchen and she likes it. Yeah? What's it what's the wallpaper look like? Wallpaper used to be so cheap. Like it's kind of you like slap that stuff on it. Really with the cool. sizing yeah. and the yeah. Um growing up in the kitchen, it was just like a foot around the top, you know, that kind of wallpaper is just just annoying enough to kill you. Kat, I think you're being facetious, but I'm not sure. You could try like that. Rachel, I'm um, perplexed on what material setting to use for this holographic mystery material. Do you think medium cardstock is a good bet? I don't know what it is. Maybe I bought it to do the 3D disco ball that I was making over New Year's and decided it wasn't thick enough or something. I'm just going to use the medium cardstock setting. It's definitely not medium. It's thinner than that. Woo. But it feels weird. It does. It does. It this is the last mat. Let me make sure. No, dang it. There's another one. It's okay. We'll cut this one out and then go for the last one. I feel like I need another light pink. Tell us, Charlie. Tell us. No, he's not afraid to tell us. No. That at least. If you prep the wall first before applying wallpaper, it does, yes, it does. If you put the sizing and stuff on it, it really does. But we have had so many, like, <laughs> renovations and remodels and things like that um, that, like, we didn't personally put the wallpaper up on. So removing it oh, is a treat. 
you can really get close to somebody after that experience. Oh, I'm sure. I feel like if you plan to marry someone, then part of the counseling should be doing some sort of tedious task like that. And then, like, if you still like each other after that, Rachel, yes. this is vinyl. Where did we get this? This is vinyl. No, it's not. It's not sticky on the back. What is this? It has a backing though. Look. But it's not sticky. Makes me wonder if it wasn't supposed to actually come off. I'm going to use it because I like it. Okay. I'm trying to re-log into design space and it's just spinning. Um, I'm hating design space right now because I can't, uh, you may have noticed when I was putting things together, it, it won't let me select layers as easily. Like if I click it a thousand times on the actual canvas, sometimes it won't let me actually select that layer. I have to go over to the actual layer panel to select that way. I don't know. I mean, it's a glitch for yeah, sure, but. We are in the beta version. That's true. That's true. Okay. Now we get to figure out which order these go in. <laughs> Normally I'm more organized than this. Okay, you can go overhead. So we have our, our veneer. We'll put that on last though. Um, I'm looking for the next thickest, which I think is this one. And then the next one, which I think is this one. And then next would be, are these the same? No, this one, then this one. Okay, this is much easier to put together than I thought it might be. Then, You're a smart cookie. Oh, thanks. Oh, this one was the same. Remember when I couldn't find that one layer? Yeah. Yeah. I think I like the purple one better. I think I'm going to get toss this one. Yeah, I like that. And then this one. And then this one. And then our holographic. <laughs> Look that looks that so is, cool. I love that. Now let's get our frame here. Actually, let's grab our ATG gun and we will adhere this together. I'm going to just put adhesive. It doesn't need a ton, but. There we go. Layer one. Layer two. Three. Rach, did you used to make Valentine's for your friends when you were a kid? Or did you buy them or what? Um. <coughs> I uh, didn't had, have like, any three friends, friends yeah. growing up. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. Yeah. I don't recall making any Valentine's. Um, apparently, I'm an idiot. What have I done? This is ridiculous. No, I told them last night that I um, caved and just bought my kids Valentine's this year because I didn't feel like dealing with it. So Fallon got Trolls Valentine's and Becca, I think Becca got Paw Patrol, which you do you, boo. Whatever.
James is here to get Charlie. Hi, James. There's that. Anyway, Rach, I paid $2.98 for 30-something Valentines. Be Becca, mm -hmm. it would have taken you... Forever. Forever. Yeah. Even though they're already designed, and it still would have taken... And time is money. I know. Okay, product, so I, that's money. I didn't feel so bad about it. I wouldn't. Good for you. Did not... Stacy said, I came in late. What exactly are we making? A mess. Oh. We're making a mess, Stacy. It's home decor. Valentine home decor. Which I'm getting out of line here. This is one thing I love about ATG, though. You can pull it back up. Realign it. Um, guess what I watched last night, Rachel? What? That Whitney Houston movie, the I Want to Dance with Somebody movie. How was it? <clears throat> I, you know, I'm not a massive fan of it. I've never seen it. Well, I, it just came out on iTunes to purchase yesterday. So I purchased it. I'll only buy a movie if it's in DVD form. Sorry, can't relate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even own a DVD player anymore. We went to Walmart the other day. My kids were like, can we get this DVD? I was like, nope. No DVD player. He was fine. You leave him alone. I think people in stores think that I'm an absolute idiot because when Sam talks to me, I talk back like a baby. Because I think baby talk is the fun, like not just baby babble is so fun. This is looking good. There we go. Love it. And this should... Go right down in here. It's just like this. And it does. And then I can put the back on it with some glue. I'm loving this. You could also do like a piece of plexiglass or something on it if you wanted to. Let me grab my adhesive brush again. Ugh. Has some, it has some paper towel on it. <laughs> Glue this guy together. And you could use like an alligator clip or something like that on the back if you wanted to hang it on the wall. Um, use like E6000 or something like that to glue it on. Uh, see ya. I, um, I don't know why I whispered. Because he ya. whispered. See ya. See ya. Um, if you're using wood as the backing, then you could use like mini nails or something like that to nail the alligator clip on. Not alligator clip. Yeah. Isn't that what it's called? Yep. The one that has the teeth, like the yes. little teeth on it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, I love it. I don't want to move it too much because I don't have it clamped down, but you all can see. Yeah, that just happened. How cute it is finished. Look at that. I'm going to have to clamp it. It wants to bow on me. It's okay. We're going to clamp. Kat said, so what is the wood XO for? Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Kat. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kat. I was just making sure you were paying attention. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 
Yep. Yep. Oh, Lord. It's so interesting crafting live and trying to come up with conversation. And uh, that does look better. Well, I mean, I guess if that's what you're looking for, it looks better. Oh, if that, oh, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> it, it was my original design <laughs> in my head. Good grief. <laughs> I think it's super cute either way. Yeah. Well, I, well, that was the thing. I just wanted to show them what it would look like if they didn't have any cricket veneer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. This mystery holographic paper is really tripping me out. Oh, there we go. That's better. Now I'm going to clamp it. <laughs> what a day. This is super cute, though. Sometimes I wonder how I keep humans alive. <sighs> Speaking of keeping humans alive, I've had some weird conversations with random strangers the last couple of days. I haven't even told Rachel this one. I'm uh, in the Starbucks lawn this morning, right? And I have Sam with me, and this guy randomly comes up. He was nice. He let me go in front of him, which I appreciated. Um, okay, that is cuter. I love that. That's so cute. I love the mixed wood, the pops of color, and the whole. I like the subtle. I like the subtlety of it. Yeah, I do too. You gotta That's tell cute. me what this random man said. Anyway, so we're talking about kids. You, you can go to me now. Did you all like this? Fun, right? This is probably stuff you have in your craft room too. And um, I, you can make the entire thing out of paper, you know, if you the want. The whole to. thing. Yeah. 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 You can make a card like this. Lo so oh, instead of like idea. the frame of the wood, you could make it out of cardstock and then Super do cute. a card like that. Anyway, um, so the guy's talk talking about how cute Sam is and um, something about, he just randomly said something about how that I, he guess that I couldn't stay on a schedule or something because of the baby. And I'm like, no, no, I'm very schedule oriented. <laughs> you have to be with a kid. I said something about how that I had two more at home. And then he randomly says, like, next breath. You know, I was talking to this lady over here. And um, did you know that it's the same price to bury a stillborn child as it is a an adult? And I was like, Like, why are we talking about this? He's a man. He's a man. It was so weird. Like, but he why does, would you he, say that? We're not talking about death. Or, no. Or, no. No. I'm sure seeing Sam sp sparked, the, um, like, the memory of the conversation he had just had because Sam's a baby. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. But men, mostly men, do not think twice about just... Word vomit. And you know what? I, I'm sure he didn't walk off and think about, you know, be like, why did I say that? Because men just don't do that. Then, like, I can't get away from these guys. No. But I'll have to tell you another one in a minute. Oh, then, we're standing there, and the lady in front of us has facial tattoos. Whatever. Not my cup of tea, but whatever. <laughs> and he was like, as loud as he, I know the lady heard. I know the lady heard. You know, I think tattoos are cool and all, but did you see her? Oh, that has to hurt. Oh, my gosh. And then he says some sort of string of expletives about it. And, like, I, the thing is, the guy, like, I think he was a nice guy, but, like, the way that he was approaching things and the way that he, the things that he was saying, and I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. I hope she doesn't think that I'm, like, associated it, you know, with yeah. him. Yeah. There was something else that he was talking about, and I was like, I want to crawl in a hole and just... Tuesday, I'm going to get my lunch, right? Go downtown, and I'm walking to the tea room to get my squash soup. You know, we talked about how good it is. And uh, I'm just walking along, and this guy just zooms over in front of me on the sidewalk and turns around, is staring like this. Like facing like, Becca at this point, yeah. I make eye contact with everybody. Hey, hey uh, are you going to work? And I was like, no, I'm heading to lunch. You have first of all, first of all, 
Becca, she's, she's very quick-witted. But why would a stranger that you've never seen ever be like, are you heading to work? That's immediately weird. Immediately weird. Yeah. Yeah. Becca's like, no. No, I'm heading to lunch. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, do you have, do you have plans after lunch? And I was like, oh, where God. is this going? And guys, she was, she came back and told me about this. I was here with Sam and literally I, I would have been a puddle, a puddle. Like you don't ask. Oh Lord. He's like, if you don't have plans after lunch, <laughs> and this is, this is where he got me. He's like, I could offer you some money. And I was like, <laughs> I could offer you some money to drive me to Jefferson City, which Jefferson City is like 20 minutes from here. And I was like, no, I'm good, Dave. And he's like, um, I guess nobody wants money. And I was like, no, no, I don't like money. I don't like money. So have a nice day. And I thought to myself afterward, why did I not say you know, but buddy, they, you know, there's this awesome service where you can pay people to drive you places. Maybe call them. Yeah, yeah. I could and then you made a great point and that then you I was drive like, a tank. I was like, I then, did 12.9 yeah. miles to the gallon. You're going to have to pay me like $65 to take you to Jefferson City and back. Like what? Uh, it's the, I don't know. People just, people just say things and... And here's the thing. Rachel has seen me in a store. I have RBF, like, really, really bad. So I'm not always very approachable. Like, if I hadn't just left her an hour before I saw her, I would have thought that, like, somebody had died. Like, her face. And in her head, she was, like, going to get some cardstock. But her face was like, I will cut you. And she wasn't looking at anything in particular. It was just her gaze. And when she finally saw me, of course, she just perked up and waved and we talked. But to just glance over at Becca in public, it, it was a little jarring. It was. Yeah. I don't know that he thought I was homeless because he saw me get out of a Tahoe. I was wearing my work clothes. No, he was offering her money to drive him somewhere. Melissa, let me just tell you, no one is going to human traffic me. First of all, dragging me into a car is pretty much, like, there's a reason I'm not skinny. It's not because I like to eat. No. It's because you can't, it's very difficult to kidnap an overweight person. Yeah. Also, I'm really mean. If they can yeah. kidnap me in plain sight, downtown Morristown, um, I don't know, maybe I have it coming to me. I don't yeah. know. I did you know I was set up to be kidnapped one day at Food City while I was out pulling buggies? Like a, like a fundraiser? No. No. Like someone, like that. these like people made a plan to try and kidnap me when I was on shift one night trying to pull my buggies in the parking lot. I did yes. not know this. Yes. There was a, um, there was two, two men in a white van and they strategically put a buggy next to the white van when I put my vest on, because you have to wear a vest when you go clear lot, and I was closing, so it was mid, like around midnight, and they pulled to like the corner of the parking lot, and the dude put a buggy, and then opened the side door and got in, and was literally waiting for me to go get the buggy. And I, there is no other, there is no other thought in my mind other than they were going to drag, and I was, I was much smaller then, then they were just going to drag me in, into the into the van <laughs> into my manager and I'm like I'm not getting that buggy I'm going home but if you're not paying attention like if you're not using your eyes you're just like just pay attention you know because crap happens all the time just use your eyes be aware Jen said the person could be on the spectrum and not understand what's appropriate to say in public also that's true that's yeah. I mean which is probably why I'm speaking for nice. the guy in Starbucks always nice yeah I, sure. I'm not going to be rude to total strangers, no. but I, it was just very awkward for me because I kept thinking this lady is going to turn around and be offended right. about her. And then I'm going to be in the middle of it, literally in the middle because he's behind me and I'm not, I'm just not really sure what I'm going to do Nothing. or say, maybe I would have just stepped out of line. I don't know. That's about all you can do. I don't know. That's why I hate small talk though. I end up saying things like that. Oops. Anywho. Uh, did you feel safe after leaving last night? Linda, I did. Um, I park, 
our door is like 20 feet from my car. I park on the side of my building here. I can see my car from this window. And then, yeah. 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 And it's well lit here and there's security. It is very decently lit. Um. Anywho, you all are amazing. Thank you for being here. We have our flock talk coming out Saturday. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna um we're gonna film that like right now, so my voice will be like this on Saturday. But I promise I will have my mic on <laughs> this time. Um so yeah. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah, Pretty Rachel good. mentioned it before. If you have not already joined the Oak and Lamb Flock, you can do that at thirty five dollars off. We're running a fun special for you all. Use the code B mine B E M I N E. I think the link is below with the code listed already. So if you are watching this after, take advantage of it too. Uh, you get access to our entire library of cut files. You get access to our private Facebook group, our member only content. We had a member only live last night. If you missed it, it was fun. Um, and you get access to our free to member cricket course. Great course. Everything you need to know to become a cricketer, um, and so much more. So click the link, use the code, save the monies, let us know. Um, Got to get ready for the flock lunch today. How do you want to be included? I want a plane ticket, and I want to go eat with you all. That's how I want to be included. Me too. <laughs> Just send me a selfie. You can make a video. You could. I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic Thursday.